Hello, hello. Welcome back. I am the Wrestling Purist, Jeff the Hitman Hall, and we are here to talk a little NXT. To start the show off, we have Ember Moon and Kaylee Ray. They go about, man, about 15, almost 20 minutes. Pretty good match. No surprise here. Kaylee Ray goes over. Um, but I'm surprised they 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 gave Ember Moon this much time. But like I said, really good match. Next, we kind of segue into a behind, you know, the scene segment or a promo where you have Oni Lorkin, Danny Birch, Ridge Holland, and Peter Dune, Pete Dunn, and Birch and Lorkin are talking about how they're going to end MSK tonight in their tag team match and looking for tag team gold. Um, from there, we segue into Indy Hartwell because their wedding is her and Dexter Lumis's wedding is next week so of course naturally you would have a bachelor and bachelorette party so Indy Hartwell is having a bachelorette party uh, I am not going to waste your brain cells nor mine but there was a bachelorette party segment and you can definitely tell Vince is booking NXT now so we'll just leave that as that your next match is Carmelo Hayes versus Santo Escobar and again, Santo Escobar is a complete star. I love this guy. Push him to the moon, pun intended. This was a really good match as well. You also had a spot from Electra Lopez who body slammed Carmelo Hayes, you know, outside the ring. And it was, it was a good spot. You know, it wasn't hokey or anything wild like that. I mean, did you need it? No, but if you're trying to put over Hayes, then I guess it makes sense. Uh, next, you get kind of a, from last week, you get Malcolm Bivens talking about Diamond Mine and the the two stud Creed brothers that he has, you know, national wrestling champs. And, you know, next, well, that would mean this week, but last week, you know, they were saying how this week they're going to have a tag match, and they sure do, but we'll get to that later. You also cut to Regal, Stephen Regal, being backstage, a commissioner saying next week we're going to have a number one, I guess a fatal four-way, a, num a number one contenders match between Ciampa, L.A. Knight, Peter Dune, Pete Dunn, and Kyle O'Reilly. Kyle O'Reilly. And like I said, that's the number one contender, assuming winner will be facing Joe for his NXT championship belt. Your next match, again, is Diamond Mind, and you get your Creed brothers, Brutus and Julius versus jobbers and i you know we use the term jobber but i'm really not joking jobber as like these guys didn't even have a name there was no name in the lower third or kydex and that was that so they go over these guys something terrible and that was your match on that one then we cut backstage and ember moon is saying it's been a rough three months and this is the time where you should dig deep and find your inner self. And she says she knows what she has to do. So I wonder if she's getting a repackage or manager mouthpiece or something along those lines. We also cut to hit row and they're just running their mouth. Um, more about Legato, Legato del Fantasma on how they're gonna get even with those guys and fell into a trap uh, last week or week before last and then they won't get caught again. <clears throat> next your next match is Caden Carter Casey Katnazaro versus Iro Shirai and Zoe Starks they've really kind of been pushing a slow burn for uh Carter and Katnazaro but they didn't win tonight so you had Io Shirai and Zoe Starks go over also showing that they actually have more they've been working on their chemistry even though that they don't really want to um, but good match. Uh, Carter and Kat Nazar are really starting to to come together. Uh, really good. After them, after that match, though, you get Gigi Dolan, Mandy Rose, and J.C. Jane, and they attack Kat Nazar and Carter. And you know, I guess I guess we'll figure out how that pans out in the next couple of weeks. Another promo backstage segment. Kyle O'Reilly talking about the last twelve months have been crazy, and he's free and he'll do anything he needs to do to get that NXT Heavyweight Championship. More tomfoolery. We have Dexter Loomis's bachelor party. And again, I'm not going to waste your brain cells or insult your intelligence. It was a bachelor, bachelor party. Laser tag, a bunch of other stuff, go-karts, and we can just leave it at that. Excuse me. 
then we go backstage again to Frankie Monet, and she's standing there with Jessica Mayo and Robert Stone, which a guy I can't stand. He shows up. Also, he shows up, and you just get fake booze that come out of nowhere in a backstage segment, but there's that. Um, he says next week she'll have a heavyweight championship match against Raquel Gonzalez. So we will see about that. Your next match, Mei Ying. This is her first in-ring work, and she squashes a jobber named Virginia Ferry. I mean, you're probably talking about a minute or a two-minute match, and that kind of was the end of that. Uh, I would like to say she looks good or looked bad, but it was such a squash match. I mean, obviously she looked good, but it wasn't too much going on. She just went over this girl like it was nobody's business. L.A. Knight cuts a promo on how he's going to become champ. Tommaso Ciampa also cuts a little mini promo on how he's going to become champ. And then you get to your, your main event, Tag Team Gold. You have M M MSK versus Danny Burch and Oni Lorcan. MSK go over here. Solid match. But after the match, Pete Dunn starts to get out the ring and he looks. And Ridge Holland, him and Ridge Holland put the boots to Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. So I guess they are kicked out of their little group. And that's kind of that. That was your NXT. Um, nothing crazy. Pretty good show. Um, a couple people are getting new beginnings, I guess we're going to see here in storylines. But other than that, yeah, that's your show. You know, not bad. Again, you can start to see Vince tightening the screws on his booking and how he wants to run it. But we could get into a whole nother show for that. But again, Thank you guys and gals for tuning in. I am Jeff Hitman Hall, your local wrestling purist. You guys are the deal. Watch new wrestling, watch old wrestling, watch wrestling new to you. Support local wrestling. It doesn't matter. Um, and thank you guys.